Hi students, welcome to today's session. In today's session, we are going to see about Drilling process, drilling machine types Determination of tap drill size Let's see the objectives of this topic. At the end of this topic you shall be able to Name the various types of drilling machines. Let's see what are the types of drilling machine. The principal types of drilling machines are The sensitive bench drilling machine The pillar drilling machine The column drilling machine The radial arm drilling machine or Radial drilling machine First, let's see about The sensitive bench drilling machine This is used for light duty work. This machine is capable of drilling holes up to 12.5 mm diameter. The drills are fitted in the chuck or directly in the tapered hole of the machine spindle. For normal drilling, the work surface is kept horizontal. If the holes are to be drilled at an angle, the table can be tilted. Different spindle speeds are achieved by changing the belt position in the stepped pulleys. The pillar drilling machine. The pillar drilling machine. This is an enlarged version of the sensitive bench drilling machine. These drilling machines are mounted on the floor and driven by more powerful electric motors. They are also used for light duty work. Pillar drilling machines are available in different sizes. The larger machines are provided with a rack and pinion mechanism to raise the table for setting the work. Let's see what is radial drilling machines. Radial drilling machines are used to drill large diameter holes. Multiple holes in one setting of the work heavy and large work pieces. The radial drilling machine has a radial arm on which the spindle head is mounted. The spindle head can be moved along the radial arm and can be locked in any position. The arm is supported by a pillar, column. It can be rotated about with the pillar as center. Therefore, the drill spindle can cover the entire working surface of the table. The arm can be lifted or lowered. The motor mounted on the spindle head rotates the spindle. The variable speed gear box provides a large range of RPM. The spindle can be rotated in both clockwise and anticlockwise directions. Angular holes can be drilled on machines having tilting tables. A coolant tank is mounted on the base. Gang drilling machine. It consists of a large base supporting a long table. The top of the table is designed in such a way that several units may be mounted on it. Each spindle is driven by its individual directly connected motor. The table has a groove around the outside for the return of the cutting lubricant, and may have T-slots on its surface for ease in clamping the work to the table. This type of machine is generally preferred when the work is to be moved from spindle to spindle for successive operations. Let's see multiple spindle head drilling machine. The multiple spindle head drilling machine may have any number of spindles, from 4 to 48 or more, all driven from the one spindle drive gear in one head. The multiple spindle head drilling machine is specially designed for mass production operations such as drilling, reaming or tapping many holes at one time in a specific unit of work, such as an automobile engine block. There may be two or more drill heads on one machine, each with many spindles. 
This is necessary when holes are drilled from more than one direction, for example, on the top side, and the end of a piece of work. Production units of this type are seldom used in a tool room that usually does highly skilled work. Let's try question session for this topic, which is the enlarged version of the sensitive bench drilling machine. Option A. Radial drilling machine. Option B. Pillar drilling machine. Option C. Column drilling machine. Option D. Center drilling machine. Try to answer the following question before this matchstick burns out fully. Congrats! I think you are right. Let's light the lamp of correct answer. Option B. Pillar drilling machine. Let's move on to the next topic. Let's see the objectives of this topic. At the end of this topic you shall be able to State the uses of threading hand taps. Determine the tap drill size. First of all let's see the use of hand taps. Hand taps are used for internal threading of components. Features. They are made from high carbon steel or high speed steel. Hardened and ground. Threads are cut on the surface and are accurately finished. Determination of tap drill size. Before a tap is used for cutting internal threads, a hole is to be drilled. The diameter of the hole should be such that it should have sufficient material in the hole for the tap to cut the thread. Tap drill sizes for different threads. In isometric thread, Tapping drill size for M10 into 1.5 thread is minor diameter is equal to major diameter minus 2 into depth. Depth of thread is equal to 0.6134 into pitch of a screw. 2 times depth of thread is equal to 0.6134 into 2 into pitch is equal to 1.226 into 1.5 millimeters is equal to 1.839 millimeters. Minor dear. D1 is equal to 10 mm minus 1.839 mm is equal to 8.161 mm or 8.2 mm. This tap drill will produce 100% thread because this is equal to the minor diameter of the thread. For most fastening purposes a 100% formed thread is not required. A standard nut with 60% thread is strong enough to be tightened until the bolt breaks without stripping the thread. Further it also requires a greater force for turning the tap if a higher percentage formation of thread is required. Tap drill size is equal to major diameter minus pitch. Is equal to 10 mm minus 1.5 mm. Is equal to 8.5 mm. Let's compare this with the table of tap drill sizes for ISO. Metric threads. ISO inch, unified, threads formula is. Tap drill size is equal to major diameter minus 1 divided by number of threads per inch. For calculating the tap drill size for 5 by 8 inches UNC thread, tap drill size is equal to 5 by 8 inches minus 1 by 11 inches is equal to 0.625 inches minus 0.091 inches is equal to 0.534 inches. The chart for determining the pitches of the thread are shown here. Let's try question session for this topic. State the missing term in ISO inch, unified, threads formula given below. Option A. Number of threads per inch. Option B. 
minor diameter. Option C. Number of threads per mm. Option D. Major diameter. Try to answer the following question before this matchstick burns out fully. Congrats. I think you are right. Let's light the lamp of correct answer. Option A. Number of threads per inch. That's all for today's session and I hope you gained light of knowledge from today's topic. Thank you. For queries. Visit www.nemilearningonline.in slash moodle.